hey guys welcome back to my channel and um, by the title of this video um, I will be opening up about my um, PCOS and that is polycystic ovarian syndrome for those who don't know what that is and for those who have it um, and would like to follow my journey my journey um, or if you don't have it and you still want to follow my journey um, please subscribe to my channel um, I plan on doing more videos like this in the near future um, I just have to figure out like if I want to be like very personal about it or if I don't want to be very personal about it I don't know um, but I am going to be just sharing my journey whether that's me doing treatment or you know whatever is new I'll update you guys on it um, and as far as weight loss because I do try to I am going to try to lose some weight so um, yeah so anyways so I was diagnosed with PCOS um, December 2017 I don't remember the exact date but I just remember that it was in December probably was like the middle of December because it was close to Christmas so woohoo that was like the best Christmas gift sar sarcastically speaking um, so that day was very very hard for me because um, I kind of figured because my mom she always says I'm a hypochondriac and um, as I got older I kind of believe her because I really search I over search things so every symptom that I was having you know as I got older and noticed them because I started to be more in tune with my body you know after losing my virginity because I had to be very you know cautious and a lot of stuff you know as you get older and you become a woman you have to make sure that you're good with your body so I always had doctor's appointments and stuff like that but um, I never was properly diagnosed I was never given the proper treatment because um, the doctors that I was going to before will always say well you're young and you know because I'm now 23 but at the time I was probably just turning 19 um, and they say oh you're um you're young you shouldn't be really you know trying to do this stuff anyways or don't worry about it you know just struggling it off like that but really it was something serious and they didn't really take it serious at the time so it was kind of like i brushed it off because they made it seem like nothing was wrong so as time went by i started to gain weight um, I think the weight gain was more so from stress, uh, a lot of stress that I had and it was just a lot of anxiety and all that stuff like that um, helped me gain weight because when I stress I'm not like the ones who won't eat, I indulge and in stuff. So, um, and if you hear something in the background that's Milo, Milo, stop. So anyways, uh, I gained a little bit of weight and that was like probably like 2015, 2016. Um, and I wasn't that big. I was um, only 180 pounds around that time. High school years, I was 160, probably 165, but I was never that um, big. So um, what is you chewing on? Milo. What is you chewing on? <sighs> Anyways, sorry about that. But I was never that big. So, um, uh, anyways, skipping forward, when I met my boyfriend, um, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to go too deep into that because that was then and this is now but uh we were careless i can say that and we didn't really care and at the time i was going through a lot of stuff so i wanted to i don't know i wanted 
and unconditional love like I wanted what I seen everybody else have like I just felt like it's it was a part of me that was missing and I just wanted to have that and he agreed to uh doing that because he he said that he didn't he don't see himself with nobody else so it didn't really matter so we did try we were trying and it didn't happen um at first at first when it didn't happen i said you know what it's really not that serious you know it's gonna happen soon or whatever because i was reading that it could take up to a year for that to happen so we weren't really consistent with it it was just like a if it happens it happens type thing but after three months it wasn't happening so um i end up uh going on birth control because um my cycles became irregular and um i just i thought that that would help and then a part of me wanted to do what i see everybody else say like oh if you skip a pill or something or you forget to take a pill or whatever you'll get pregnant so i did try that and that did not work for me so eventually i got off of the birth control because i didn't the second dosage of it just made me sick so i just didn't want to take it anymore so i got off of the birth control um we were still you know being intimate and it still wasn't happening so i brushed it off it was just a you know if it happens it happens type thing and i didn't really worry about it um and then as the years went by it just was like why isn't it not happening so you know all of the doctors kept saying the same thing every time i would go and it um that last final time when i got assist on one of my on my left ovary uh and i found that out because i was at work and i had a lot of pressure in my back i couldn't stand up and it was just very excruciating pain um coming from my left side it just felt horrible so um it just felt really horrible it felt bad so i went to the er later that night because i was like i'm just gonna see if it goes away because i took some ibuprofen and that didn't work so i ended up going to the emergency room and um the emergency room ended up saying that i had a cyst and it was really it wasn't that bad um so they prescribed me some um I really they prescribed me some ibuprofen for the pain but they said to just like keep it easy and you know try to avoid um intercourse because it did it was really painful to to do that with that because i could feel it so um they recommended that i go see my OBGYN. OBGYN. they recommended that i went to see him um so i went to um, my OBGYN and uh, he ran some diagnostics and he made me go to um, a lab to get blood work done and then December 2017 is when I found out that I had PCOS. I cried like a baby in that office because he was like he's not saying that I will never have the chance to but he's saying that it'll be harder for me to um, conceive on my own uh, without help. Um, so he's recommending that I lose some weight and that, you know, I work on that, which I've tried and I, I am trying. I have been trying to lose weight, but it just seems like I'm getting nowhere. I'm taking the medicine because he prescribed me metformin. For those who, of you that don't know what metformin is, it is a drug that they give to most women with PCOS. Um, and I'm not sure if women with endometriosis um, take that medicine, but if you do, just let me know in the comments because I really don't know. Um, but that medicine helps uh reduce chances of getting diabetes it helps lower your cholesterol it um it helps the hair growth uh it helps with obesity 
um so it helps a, a little bit of weight loss um it, it helps with a lot of symptoms that we have however um you have to put in the work so i'm still working on that and like i said i'll have some more videos on that whenever i you know start that journey because right now i haven't started it yet because i want to start it when i know i'm going to take it serious and right now i know i'm not going to take it serious so um the most i've done so far is cut out dairy and uh and I can't say I cut out a lot of dairy because there's times where I'll eat ice cream every now and then, excuse me, but I won't eat it all the time. So, um, also it's, um, what is it? Oh yeah. So I cut out milk, so I don't drink milk anymore. I drink almond milk. Um, and then the next thing that I'm working on cutting out is, um, bread because um, bread is the number one thing that I eat all the time. It doesn't matter what it is or what's on it. I am working on that. So I've cut out the breads in my home because I don't have any bread in my house right now uh, besides some cinnamon raisin toast, which that's wheat bread, so it doesn't really matter. But it is it's still bread, but like I said, I'm working on it. Um, other than that, I'm taking it day by day, but I'm about to really get serious with this because I need to lose some weight. I cannot keep I cannot keep doing this to myself. I want a baby and I feel like I can do that if I lose some weight and that's what my doctor said. If I can lose 30 to 40 pounds, then I'll be able to I'll probably be able to ovulate on my own. Um, without any medicine um, which that'll be another video um, on the treatment that I did um, for like probably like two months I think to try to um, ovulate so I will definitely have another video on that so if you haven't subscribed to my video um, to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button down below because that video will be coming out really soon and uh, yeah so it, it's been very tough it's been a very tough tough time and I can say that I've cried and cried and cried and cried and cried and still nothing has changed I've peed on several thousands maybe hundreds of pregnancy tests and all negative even if I thought I had seen a faint line I was just bad crap I'm not even gonna say it because I wanted to cuss but I'm not gonna do that um but yeah it's just it's been a long road for me so I definitely plan on having having some more videos like this so if you haven't subscribed to my video go ahead and subscribe give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time bye